Welcome back to the Blitz, everybody. So, Chris, a story that we've loved to follow along this whole season, and why not? Because it's all good fun. The Alice head coach staff. Well, I shouldn't say head coach. The whole coaching yeah. staff growing the mustaches. You know, that was the thing. Uh, I don't remember, did the players challenge them or did they just issue it themselves? <laughs> it's all story. So Coach Atwood, they don't allow their players to grow facial hair. Right. So at the beginning of the season, they said, hey, we don't allow you, so here's what we'll do. We don't want to grow stashes, so we'll grow them for you, essentially. Gotcha. Until they lose. Until they and lose. they have not lost. They have not lost. So they had some pretty gnarly stashes at this point. Let's get to the highlight. Now, Coach Whitaker for Port Lavaca, he didn't have any mustaches. He's not about that life. So uh, <laughs> early on, though, the Crabs, Sean, Flores gets the ball over the middle on Hagon for the score. Oh no, already the mustaches are in jeopardy as Port Lavaca goes up early on the home turf. Now, Alice, though, they would have their chance. They get inside the red zone trying to answer. Oh, they cough up the snap. Oh no. Port Lavaca would recover. And unfortunately from there, Alice would not recover. Steve Johnson with the long first down there for Port Lavaca past the McDonald's and he's just uh, rocking his way deep inside Alice territory and then again crossing the McDonald's line and uh, Port Lavaca <laughs> goes up. They go on to get the win. The mustaches for Coach Atwood and company sadly no more. Uh, Port Lavaca 55-7 you're fine. Rest in peace. You're going to have to use some Drano to clear out those clogs from those bad boys. Hey let's head out to Toloso Midway. Phyllis Midway hosting San Antonio Southside for an in-district matchup. Southside has given up just 16 points this entire season. So they're a stingy defense. And, well, the offense, they had things going early as well. Cardinals first drive. They get it done through the air. This is third and long. Alejandro Escamillo buys time, and Caleb Camarillo tiptoes on third and long. So they get within a yard. They would convert on a fourth down. Moments after going back to the air, Escamillo threads the needle on a a corner fade to Christopher Camarillo. I'm assuming in relation to Caleb who caught the ball earlier. Cardinals take a 7-0 lead. TM's first possession would end in a punt, but that would be a good thing. Uh, not normally a good thing, but on the punt, Southside's returner would try to pick it oh. up. And TM's Juan Moreno is right there to force a fumble. So a punt wound up being a good thing for the Warriors. What a turn of events that was. Warriors would recover, and then we would get a crazy player from sophomore wideout Noah Barrientes. Head coach Wade Miller, he's going to be happy with this one. They say play until the whistle. Well, that's exactly what Barrientes does there. No whistle. He stops and says, hey, wow. I'm going to take this in for the score. So TM ties it up 7-7. Now, you could argue, was he down? Fact of the matter, he scored on the play. So we'll move on past that one. Second quarter, same score. We have another play of the week nominee from this game, if you count that last one. Going deep, it's J.D. Garcia to Jaden Whitehead. What a snag, gets both the inbounds, but they would call him out at the five yard line. Chris, TM would not capitalize after they would miss a field goal on this drive. But right after that, the Warriors would force a safety, which wound up being a big one in this game because they would go on to win by just three points, 24-21. Wow. The Warriors get the win. TM didn't get a district win last year, so congrats to them yep. getting that dub here tonight. All right, let's get to that game we had some issues with early. Veterans Memorial and Ray, Cody Simper's team coming off a bye. The Ray Texans looking for their first district win in 15-5A Division I. Opening kick and a little trickeration. The Texans going to attempt the onside. Christian Osario with the perfect placement, and Manuel Sterling recovers. Coach Charlton's team dialing it up early. Now the Texans offense though struggling. Both teams would. There was backup quarterbacks in there. In fact, Vets eventually had to go to a third stringer, but Jaden Moore was all over the place there with the sack for the Eagles. Again, both sides struggling to move the ball. So what do you do? You give it to your running back. Kobe Piper, one of the better ones in the area for Vets, getting a first down down the sidelines, but the snap is going to go off of Joseph Gonzalez's hands and Ray's Thomas Boyd recovers Ray in business. But unfortunately for them, they would not be able to capitalize. In fact, they couldn't find the end zone all night here. The first down to Matthew Crawl. Vets gets it done in the second half. 22 points after the break. 29 nothing. your final. Let's head up to Sentin America. The Pirates hosting the Bruni Badgers out of Class 2A. Sentin looking for its first win of the year. Here, Bruni after the opening kickoff. Sitting, trying to get things going, and hey, the defense coming up big 
for the Pirates, and this punt leaves a little bit to be desired. Whoa. So sitting set up with great field position. The handoff to Robert Hughes right past the blitz camera and for the score. The Pirates up big at that point. Now Bruni again trying to get something going. The Badgers coming all the way up here. They might want to, you know, see if we can get something going right. Well, yeah, not so much. Sitton's defense, again, <laughs> that's kind of the defensive effort we've seen from the Pirates over the years. And then, again, Pirates getting on the board. Melvin Howard punching it in. All sitting in this one. They get that first one of the year, 52-6, to six, your final. How about that, Sitton America? All right, let's head out to Foul Furious, the Fighting Jerseys, a team that has had a real solid season. And how about that new turf, Chris? That's a beautiful field, 3-1 this it season is. so far. Foul's Brad Ainsley. He's up for a play of the week. Will he win? We'll find out later the show here he goes deep and gets the first down Ainsley a common trend here he's just gonna be a superstar in this highlight this time he's not throwing it he's running it. he fights his way turns over and gets in for the score so foul furious takes a seven nothing lead on that touchdown but Lyford they would show some life in this one and fight back Osmar Martinez a little shake and bake Fights his way, takes a couple hits there. That's a first down. And then later in the drive for Lyford, it's Devin Mendoza running it and getting in there. Where's he? Pass the, the Mendoza line. Pass the Mendoza. <laughs> I like that one. That was good, Chris. So Lyford gets back into this one. They would go for the extra point, but foul would stop it. So they would have the lead, but the problem is Lyford would wind up having the lead once the last second was on the clock. They go on to win 20 14 the final. All right, so, uh, you know, we had some interesting games in that segment. You know, Alice, it was a great run for them. And, you know, this yeah. loss definitely doesn't take them out of the playoff chase. You know, you had to figure when the year started that Cal Allen and Port Lavaca were in pretty good shape to have two of those spots locked down. Mm -hmm. So, really, there's two more up for grabs. So, Alice still has some really key games coming up that they still need to win to try and get in. All right. And I want to talk about TM a little bit. How about them yeah. getting that district win, getting that monkey off the back, and against a Southside team yeah. that's pretty solid this season. They a great are. defense, and they put some points on the board. Yeah, I think so. Southside came in undefeated, right, to that game. So, so yeah, in uh, district play, You know, yes. congrats to uh, Coach Wade Miller getting it done. Uh, the Warriors, big win for them out there tonight. All right, well, if you just can't wait for all the scores, it's only in the next segment, but you can find them online right now, right? Absolutely. On our website, ktriplitv.com, you can actually watch our show right now online, so you can watch it on two screens, your TV and your computer. That sounds pretty cool. Facebook, make sure you go give us a like, everybody. We're posting daily three sports splits, and then find us on twi tw Twitter, Twitter, and hit that follow button, everybody. Ktripli three sports. We'll be back right after this break. More action highlights coming your way right after this brief timeout.